Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tekla Le, and I'm from the organization called BC Association for Learning and Preserving the History of World War II in Asia. In short, we call ourselves BC Alpha. Today, we are here to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II, and we are here to remember the 30 million victims of the Asian Holocaust committed by the Imperial Japanese forces. We are here to mourn in anguish the rape victims of the Japanese Imperial soldiers and to remember the victims of Japanese military sexual slavery, the so-called comfort women. We are here to remember victims of Nanking Massacre and other massacres that happened across China and many parts of Asia during the Japanese occupation in World War II. We are here to remember the hundreds of thousands of innocent victims of the biological and chemical warfare conducted by the Unit 731. We are here to remember the many millions of victims of forced labor, including airline POWs, Canadian Hong Kong veterans, civilians, and even children, like many of you who have been put in concentration camps in the Dutch East Indies by Imperial Japanese forces. We are here as friends to people of Japanese descent to remember victims of A-bombs. They are also the direct victims of Japanese militarism. We are here to remember the that peace is the deepest desire of all humanity and that peace needs justice and reconciliation to flourish. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe made a war anniversary speech on August 14th. He stated that Japan had repeatedly expressed a feeling of deep remorse and heartfelt apology for its actions during the war. But he stopped short of a new apology by adding that it is unnecessary for Japan's future generation to keep apologizing, Abe seemed to say that this, his once-for-all speech can close the page of history. However, those countries which suffered from Japan's aggression will never forget the dark period of history. Like, just like the Japanese will always remember the horrific sins of the A-bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Our organization, BC Alpha, believes that the best way to honor the Asian Holocaust victims and to learn lessons from this dark chapter of history is through education. That is also why one of our mandates is to advocate humanity education and foster racial harmony through the learning and preservation of historical facts about the atrocities committed by the Japanese Imperial Army against civilians and unarmed soldiers during World War II in Asia. So here I would like to share some of our education works with you. In year 2001, the Ministry of Education invited BC Alpha as a partner in the development of the Teacher's Guide entitled Human Rights in the Asia Pacific 1931 to 1945, Social Responsibility and Global Citizenship. This is for use by grade 11 and 12 social studies courses. This study guide has been delivered to all BC high schools to facilitate senior high students in the learning of the Asian Holocaust. A French version was also published in year 2003. And a companion DVD entitled Witness to History was also produced. It contains the stories of four Canadian survivors of World War II in, in Asia, including two Dutch survivors, Mr. Marius uh, Van Newton and Ms. Van Wien Van Zien. I have brought along 20 copies of this DVD with me. If you would like to keep a free copy, please feel free to approach me at the end of this event. And since year 2004, the annual Peace and Reconciliation Study Tour for educators has been organized and participated by over 200 educators from across Canada and the US. Participants of the study tour visited the Asian Holocaust survivors, historical sites, and war museums in China and Korea. 
I would like to share with you one teacher's feedback about the study tool. Quote, I now have a much deeper understanding of the issue and hold a much greater authority with my students on the topic. I learned the depth of influence that history still has for the millions affected by the events. The horrific events are not consigned to the dust dustbin of history, but they are living all around us." Unquote. And from year 2009, with the support of the Vancouver School Board and later also Surrey School Board, we organized the annual International Human Rights Day Student Symposium with the theme on human rights in the Asia Pacific, 1931 to 1945. This is to allow students from different schools of the Lower Mainland to come together to learn humanity lessons from the atrocities committed in Asia in parallel with the Nazi Holocaust during World War II. So far, we have over 5,000 students participated in the symposium. And we're very thankful that some people from the Dutch community have been sp uh, speakers at the student symposium, such as Marius, uh, Peter over there, and uh, also uh, Augusta in here, I know. So uh, starting from last year, we also launched a school outreach program that is the classroom presentation that teachers can invite us to do workshops in their schools. So uh, uh, to end uh, my speech, I would just like to share a feedback from one of the students participated in our program. Quote, I'm very grateful to have had this opportunity to learn about the different aspects of the Asian Holocaust an event rarely spoken of. Hearing about the many denials that the atrocities even happened is very unsettling and makes the Asian Holocaust even more important to learn about. Brushing off historical events like these will do us no good. We must not forget the past, the terrible atrocities that have been committed and the many lives that have been lost. However, we can move on from it, working together and striving together as humans to hopeful, hopefully learn from our mistakes and improve our world. Thank you very much.